Hey my lovely, Serene Dream here, back with another pick a card reading, and today's requested topic is Are They Into Me? Now this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, so only take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse the messages if that's how it applies to your situation. Um, if you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings, general forecast for the rest of the year, love forecast for the rest of the year, or finance forecast for the rest of the year, you can do so at the Vimeo links below in the description box if you would like to book a personal reading with me link to my website can be found below as well follow me on instagram at serene dream things for guidance and if you have not subscribed to the channel already make sure you go ahead and do that there's a new upload every sunday and wednesday and on the screen are uh three yes or no images go ahead and make your selection if you need more time you can pause the video but we're gonna go ahead and begin with those who chose yes no image number one Okay, so for those who chose um, the first image, is your person that you're coming to this reading about into you? I would say that they are. And I feel that they are on their way to making an offer to you. They are, I feel like they've been, this person has been keeping their feelings secret. So you're into them, but you're not quite sure how they feel about you. But I, I'm hearing they're just as crazy about you as you are about them, but they haven't communicated that yet. And not only have they not communicated it, but I feel like they have been very covert in showing any signs of it. It's like they don't, they didn't want, I'm hearing they didn't want you to know before it's time it's like they wanted to keep their feelings to themselves until they were ready to fully confess to you. They didn't want to give you any hint. I'm hearing lead you on. That could be the reason they weren't wanting to show you anything because maybe they weren't in a position to pursue you prior. Some of them could have been in a relationship. Some of them, you know, are just not in a place in their lives to date. Um, and I feel like they were kind of waiting to get in a more ideal place, whether it be like physically, emotionally or whatever to pursue you. So it's like they didn't want to show any signs of being interested before the time that they approach you. So for some of you, you might um, this person approaching you might take you by complete surprise, not 100 percent, because as I said, like you are crushing, you're crushing on this person, obviously. So I get that. Um you were picking up some vibes even if you couldn't really put it into words or give any specific um examples of them being interested i feel like you were picking up energy from them regardless of their interest um and i feel that this person yeah i feel like when they come in it's going to take you by surprise but you're going to be like it's going to be a little tiny part of you that's not so shocked because you're like if i was i knew i was feeling something from them i was feeling vibes from them I'm hearing turn your world upside down. So I feel like when this person comes in, you don't know this person. I mean, you know them in a sense, even if you're around them every day, I feel like you don't really know who they are. Um, like as a person, like you don't really know everything they're into or really what they're about. I feel like you know them on a surface level. So I feel like when they do approach you, make an offer to you and you begin to date this person, they're gonna turn your world upside down, but in a very good way, a very exciting way. Cause I get that they are, they have like a wow side or a crazy, not crazy in a scary way, but like just crazy as far as like adventurous. This person could be quite adventurous. I feel like they are gonna show you a side of themselves that you never knew existed. And in a way, I'm just getting that it's going to turn you out in a sense. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's like they come off one way and you may think like, you might even think this person is boring or like super sweet. I mean, they are super sweet. It's like they have different sides of them. So the side that you think you know, that is the real side of them, but they have another side that you haven't that they haven't introduced to you yet. And I feel like many people who don't know them personally, like on a very intimate level, don't know this side of them. And they're gonna show it to you. And it's just like, I mean, this might even translate in the bedroom. Like you might think this person may not know what they're doing or that they'll be like vanilla in bed, but this person 
Trust me, they are an animal. I'm getting um, Mr. Gray from Fifty Shades of Gray. This person could be into s and M. I feel like they're into things you just didn't know that they're like, you didn't suspect they'll be into. Not that you have a problem with it. I'm hearing that you're completely down with all the things that they're showing you. It's just that you never thought this person would be into that. Yeah, it's like, I just keep getting they're going to not the, the horn um, beeping is a sign that is confirmation that this person is going to turn you out. Like, I feel like whatever you are now, this person is going to open you up in a good way. So maybe if you were um, like, since we were speaking about the bedroom, maybe if you weren't so experienced in the bedroom or maybe you had like limited experience in the bedroom, this person is going to open up the freak in you like you're going to be a lot more adventurous sexually than you've ever been uh, with this person than you've been with anybody else. This person, you know, if you were the kind of person, I'm hearing like great outdoors, they could be someone who enjoys the great, the great outdoors and maybe that's not something you were ever really into, like a lot of outdoor activities, but this person is going to get you to open up to like enjoy those things. It's just like this person's going to open your mind, your experiences, to more, um, they're gonna broaden your horizons basically when they come in. So that's what I was getting about like turning your world upside down. Like your world is a particular way right now and it's good and you're comfortable with it, but this person is gonna like turn that inside out and just like broaden you up. I feel like they're in a way gonna help you reach your fullest potential. Cause I just feel like they're gonna have you doing things, you know, um, thinking things uh speaking things that you normally that you probably never really thought you would that you would i just get like there's a lot of just introducing you to a new side it's not only a new side of life but they're introducing you to a new side of yourself because i don't feel like this person's going to be forcing you into anything i feel like they're just bringing out of you what's already in you and maybe you've been scared to bring it out or maybe you just didn't know it was there but it's like everything that they end up opening you up to you end up thoroughly enjoying and then you understand at that point that this is something that was always there you just either never had the opportunity to experience it or yeah i'm also getting um i always forget the name of this movie it's another sex movie um oh my gosh i always forget the name of it but it's with that guy the italian guy who kidnapped the girl and like it just turned into like they ended it's a crazy movie but they end up falling in love um I feel like it's like the next day, the day after, or I don't know what the title is. I think his name is Michelle. Michelle Marone is his name. But that actor, the movie that it was very popular a few years back. I feel like that that movie is also coming through. And I, I get, um, I, I feel like I'm getting that also to just like, so because I keep getting sex movies, I feel like this person is definitely going to open you up sexually. Like they're going to introduce you to a new freaky side of yourself. Like even if you thought you were freaky before, I feel like this person like helps take it to another level. But um, yeah, but I mean, overall, this person's really into you. I feel like they're very focused on you too. I feel like in a sense, if they have been waiting to get their stuff together or get in an ideal position to approach you, like you're all they've been thinking about. And it's like, they can't wait to get next to you and like lock you in, like lock in with you, be able to claim you as theirs. This person has like a deep fantasy about claiming you as theirs. They want to publicly declare that you are theirs. I feel like they think about that constantly. So yeah, they're definitely into you, group one. Okay, so let's move on to those who chose uh, image number two. Give me a moment to timestamp. Okay, so for those who chose image number two, is your person into you? No. Well, what I'm hearing actually is not like that. I feel like this person, like if you're interested in them romantically, they view you as as a friend. Like they, they, it's like they love you, 
but not in a romantic way. This person thoroughly enjoys your company, but not as a girlfriend or boyfriend. This person is like they want you around because I feel like they're very fond of you. You get along. You have like amazing conversation and good times together. But for that, for whatever reason, this person just doesn't see you as anything beyond a friend. They feel like you all, or even if they have thought about you in a romantic way here and there, they feel like you all fit better as friends. Some of them I'm picking up, they may be afraid of ruining your friendship, the friendship that you have with each other by taking it there. So they're like, if I had to make a choice on, you know, what I could do without, I would rather do without them being my lover than do without them being my friend. So for some of them, they actually do have some romantic interest in you, but they're not like they refuse to take it there. It's like they've turned that they it's like they turned that desire off for you in order to maintain a friendship with you. And others of you, they just don't see you like that. Yeah, they feel like it's better for you all to keep a platonic relationship. Because again, it's like they don't want to lose you. And maybe this person doesn't have a good history with relationships. Maybe they, I'm hearing um, Usher, Usher, what's Usher, Usher's song, Bad Habits. When he says, I love, love, I'm just something bad at it. Yeah, I, I just can't escape all these bad habits. This person could have a history like that. Um, like they love love, but I feel like they always mess up in relationships. And I feel like with you, they know that it will be no exception. That they will ruin it with you and lose you forever. So they're not willing to risk that. They're like, I know I'm bad at relationships. Like I'm, I dig her, I dig him, you know, they're sexy. I would love to take it there with them, but I like, I know myself and I know that once we go there, I'm going to ruin it. And then I'm going to lose this great friend of mine. And we have such good times together. They understand me. We laugh so much together. I don't want to lose that. You could be the best friend this person never had in their lives. That's why they aren't like, I feel like they've had friends of the opposite sex before and they've gone there with them, but they didn't mind losing them. But it's something about the connection with you. They're like, nah, I can't lose them. I can't lose group two. For some of you, this person is very tempted to take it there with you. So yeah, it's like a mixture I'm getting here. Some of you, they just don't see you like that at all. And others of you, they really are tempted by you, but they, so I mean, I guess the answer would technically be that they are into you, but they have no intention on pursuing you romantically because again, they just feel like they value your friendship more than anything. So I do feel like this is a friend. This is someone you're already good friends with. And you, I'm hearing somebody say, I've fallen from my friend. This could be a friend that you like recently started to feel like you've developed feelings for. And they're developing feelings for you or already have feelings for you, but they have already made it up in their mind that they are not good at love and they don't want to lose you. So they want to keep it as friends. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm getting a John Legend song in my head. Is it so gone? Let me look at the lyrics of that song because that's coming through for some reason. I'm going to do my thing. I was born at the end of December. Some of these people were born um, in December. It doesn't have to be the end of December. I'm just saying like December is a very significant um, message in this. So I feel like this person could be someone born in December. That could be confirmation for somebody. They could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Not afraid that the cold of winter would keep me inside. Hey, ever since mama left me at home, I had to search for a class of my own and go there in my mind. Some of them have abandonment issues uh, from their uh, parents. That could be why they're not good at relationships. Some of them have deep mommy wounds or daddy wounds, or they just have a fear of abandonment because they were abandoned as a child. Even if they had their parents physically present, their parents could have emotionally abandoned them. I had a dream like Dr. King. I had a song I had to sing and I knew it wasn't make believe. And the teacher said to me, baby, who do you want to be? Said, I don't know, but I know that I'm going to leave. 
Yeah, so this person could be very successful. I feel like they have a rags to riches story where um, they built themselves, like they got it out the mud. They, they're doing very well for themselves. You know, they don't have to be like extremely rich or anything, but I just feel like they do very well for themselves because of the past they had and how rough they had it. I feel like a lot of them had rough upbringings and um, it contributed to them working very hard to make something of themselves and I feel like they've accomplished that but the thing they haven't been able to get past is their abandonment issues so they don't do well in relationships and because they are like well off because they do well for themselves I feel like they play around with people because they can they don't really technically need someone so it's like, yeah, that's why they don't really take relationships that seriously. In addition to having a fear of abandonment. They say, I'm so gone. All I do is walk alone. I'm so gone. I can make it on my own. All right. Yeah, this is the mentality this person has. Like, they feel like they can do everything on their own. I just said that this person feels like they don't really need anybody because they do well for themselves. Everybody want to follow the crowd, but I belong in the front singing loud and I'll go solo. Hey, but the fame is a hell of a temptress. Not my wife, but I guess she's a mistress. Oh, can I let her go? Yeah, I feel like that is the message about... Um, It's like what I'm getting from that is like this person sees, you know, like maybe they have friends or whatever who are in relationships. People who are married, have families and people are constantly asking them like when they're going to settle down, you know, and they're just like, look, that's not for me. That's for y'all. That's cute for y'all, but it's not for me. That's not my life. That's not my path. I'm meant to be a bachelor or a bachelorette. Like this person feels like they're, they're doing, being on their own being solo, single, that single life is what's best for them and they're happy in it. And they, when that part that says, can I let her go? Yeah, it's like they easily let people go. Like they love them and leave them. That's the mentality here. But it's something about you. Again, I'm getting that the, they never had a friend like you before. So they're afraid, like though they may be tempted, some of them of taking it there, they're afraid that they're gonna lose you if they do because of their bad habits. Um. Oh, and then it goes on to she can play tricks on your mind, have you leave your soul behind. She's turned some niggas out, but she can't she can't keep her spell on me. She can't keep backmailing. Wait, let me go to some other lyrics because I feel like these are wrong. Yeah, she can play tricks on your mind. Have you leave your soul behind? She's turned some niggas out, but she can't keep her spell on me. She can't keep blackmailing me. I'm free to leave to just be me. I feel like this is relating to how they feel about you because they have, some of them have a deep attraction to you. And maybe you are a person who is very attractive and you're used to getting anybody you want, you know, or you've at least, you know, had people in your past who are really crazy about you. So they have some kind of knowledge about you driving people crazy. You know, people being like hooked on you and they're just like, no, nah, I'm not going to be another victim to him or her. You know, I can't like I'm not they're not going to have me out here strung out and can't eat, can't sleep. You know, they decide to leave me. So they're like, I'm just again, there's like they're saying they, they don't even want to go there with you because they don't want anything to be ruined. They may have a fear of you leaving them or they may try to sabotage things um, be, before it even gets there. You know, and then they lose you forever. I'm getting a very strange message just coming through right now that you may sleep with this person one time. I feel like it may happen. It may be a drunken night or something. Um, yeah, it, I feel like it's going to happen. I, I, I don't know if it's soon or if it's like far into the future, but I feel like it's going to happen and I feel like it's going to be a conversation after that. But I'm not really getting what the outcome of that conversation is going to be. Because it's almost inevitable I'm hearing for it to happen. Because the attraction I'm picking up here for some of you is very strong between you. Like they're trying to hold back and not take it there with you. But I feel like over time, it's like it's gonna spill out because you're very sexy to them. And it doesn't help that in addition to you being incredibly attractive, 
you have a personality that they that they've fallen in love with your personality like who you are as a person so all of that combined is taking this person it's going to take them to the edge and feel like i have to like they want to sleep with you i don't know i feel like it's going to happen I, okay now i'm getting some messages about the conversation that will follow that you know that drunken night or whatever but i get that the conversation may be that you all decide to like forget it ever happened and go back to what you were yeah but i feel like neither of you are gonna forget it it's gonna be this lingering energy between the two of you but i feel like you're both gonna try to control it and say like no we need to just be friends and not take it there but yeah to answer your question they are into you for majority of you who selected this but they are very insistent on it remaining platonic between you two okay so let's go on to those who chose group three give me a moment of time stamp okay so for those who chose group three is your person into you I'm hearing to me as I'm so into you immediately so I would say that's a big fat yes I really like what you done to me I can't really explain it yeah it's like this person they're gone off of you you have put some kind of spell on them they feel um it's like their head is always up in the clouds thinking about you no matter what they do you are always there and it's like you're there with every thought they can't do anything without thinking about you i feel like for this group you know that this person is interested in you you're just waiting you're waiting for them to approach so it's no mystery at all i feel like they've made it perfectly clear that they've that they're into you and they're ready to take it to the next level with you this person could be approaching you making an offer to you very soon like when you listen to this reading it could be days up to maybe weeks from the time you listen to this reading i'm not getting months i mean if it's going to be months i feel like it's going to be a month and not more than that Because it's, it's like I'm seeing, I feel like this person is ready. Like they're ready to go to the next level with you. Because they're so into you. They've made that clear to you in whatever way. Um, and it's like they're ready to just be happy with you. You've just been waiting for them, for them to approach. That's it. Like that's the only, you know, missing puzzle piece for this to go on and move to the next level with just them approaching and that's happening within a matter of days to weeks from now i'm getting um you all are gonna make a very cute couple and you're gonna be stuck like glue to each other i don't feel like it's gonna be in a codependent way i feel like it's just that you all are gonna enjoy each other's energy and company so much that you're not gonna want to be apart not that you can't be apart that's codependence it's just that you don't want to be apart so i feel like because i'm seeing two people who are like holding hands I, honestly what i'm seeing is a man like leading a woman like he's walking sort of in front of her and he's like reaching back holding her hand and she's like kind of shuffling to keep up you know to uh walk close to him it's like i'm seeing that and i'm also getting something like you all could be like she the feminine energy here could be like smaller than the masculine even if she, even if it's just by a little because i'm getting like the masculine takes like bigger steps or something because he's taller or maybe he just walks in that way where his steps are wider and it's like the feminine is like she has like smaller steps so she kind of has to shuffle to you know keep up with him but it's like he holds her hand to make sure that she stays close like he's very protective of her that's what i'm seeing so yeah I'm, i feel like that's the dynamic of your coupling the masculine here is very protective i'm hearing that the feminine here is going to be very loved She's going to feel very loved and be very loved. 
It's like she feels very safe with her man. That's what I'm getting. You are all constantly, you're going to constantly touch each other. I feel like I'm getting more so like what the relationship and dynamic is going to be like between the two of you because this is happening soon. But yeah, I get like you, your hands are always all over each other. Like that's how it's going to be constantly in each other's hair, touching some body part, holding hands. But I feel like in addition to holding hands, like when you sit down or you're just standing somewhere, like you find a way to like take the other hand and touch something on the other like rub your hair or you know rub your head or touch your ear or touch your neck or touch your face it's I feel like you do that to each other like you admire each other's face what's coming to me is um vanity when she said uh about prince she said like you know he's what, what did she say she said like he sees my face and he just wants it you know and I see his face and I just want it. Something like that. But I, I, I feel like that's coming through because it's like you're obsessed with each other. You love like you're very attracted to each other. And I feel like you have this obsession with each other's faces. Like you love you all could look alike somewhat. I feel like that could be because because I was getting Prince and Vanity. I heard that he named her Vanity because he said like she was a mirror to him that they looked alike. So I feel like that's a message here for some of you or somebody that you and your person could favor. And that could be why you're like really obsessed with each other's faces because you see each other, like you see yourselves in each other's faces. Yeah, but you're constantly touching each other. You're very obsessed with each other. And it's like when you're in a room, when you're in a room together, everyone else is gonna disappear. You may even make some people around you all feel uncomfortable because of how touchy-feely you are. And like, you're always looking into each other's eyes. You're always like touching each other. You're always like close to each other. You know, you might even kiss. You know, I don't feel like you're full out making out in front of people all the time, but I just get like the touchy-feely closeness, constant closeness that you have may make some people uncomfortable when you're around them you're gonna be that couple some people may say and i keep hearing selena gomez's song hands to myself can't keep my hands to myself yeah i feel like that is definitely how you all are gonna be you can't keep your hands to yourself it's always on each other no matter what you're doing i'm also hearing um saint vince's song I love this song. St. Vincent's song, um, Lost Ageless. Is that how can anybody have you? How can anybody have you and lose you? How can anybody have you and lose you and not lose their minds too? I feel like that is a, a message that's coming through because you all have this, like you're so obsessed with each other that you're saying like, I can't imagine losing you. Like, I don't even want to think about anybody. It's like how you feel about each other. You don't understand how anybody in your past let your person go. And this person, your person feels like they don't understand how anybody in your past let you go. You view each other as the perfect person. And so you're like, how, who in their right mind let you go? Who in their right mind? It's like you're saying that about each other and you're like, I can't imagine like having you, experiencing you and losing you. Like I will lose my mind. Some of you may have exes who are still hung up on you. That's a message coming through too. Cause I feel like what the, getting that message about how you all feel about each other. Like I can't imagine like how your exes would feel about losing you. It may be that exes, you may see your exes um, spinning out over you, still hung up on each of you. And you're like, I get it. You know, I get it. I get why they're going crazy. Like, look at you. Yeah, you're like, I can't. You, for you, you're just like, each... Both of you have this thought, like, I don't even want to know, like, I don't ever want to be in your ex, like, the shoes of your exes. Because they see, I feel like your exes are 
acting up basically for the lack of a better term they are not quiet about the loss of you i feel like they are actively like they're very loud about their disappointment in losing you and i feel like your person is seeing that you know on your end and you're seeing that on their end and it's like they just like you all see that your exes have a lot of regret over losing each of you and so you're just saying like I don't ever want to be in their shoes because like of course they're losing their minds because look at you you know and your person is saying that about you and you're saying that about them I hope that makes sense I was trying to but it's like a mutual feeling here there's a mutual experience of like I would be losing my mind too if I lost you so I get where your exes are coming from and I never want to be in their shoes basically that's the breakdown of it Yeah, this person is about to approach you. And I feel like they're going to do it with a lot of emotion. There's a lot of emotion coming behind their offer. It's not a simple like, you know, can I, can we, you know, can I take you on a date? Can I get your phone number? It's nothing simple like that. This person is coming with a deep love confession. Like, I love you. I want to spend my life with you. Like, this person is on that with you. I'm hearing they've waited long enough. They feel like you all could have been doing this song and dance of like flirting or whatever for a while. And this person was taking a while to approach you. But now I feel like the time is coming. It's coming down to the time where it's going to happen, where they're about to approach you. And I feel like all that time that you all have been doing this song and dance of flirting with each other and but not quite you know, getting together, it's built up all this um, anticipation for them to like go to the next level with you and they've fallen even deeper in love with you in that time that they've been waiting so they're coming with a lot of emotion like i said it's not a simple can i take you out on a date or can i have your phone number it's i love you i want to spend my life with you i don't feel like it's going to surprise you though because i feel like you feel the same way about this person something about this energy between the two of you feels very soulmate-ish and not just any kind of soulmate i feel like it's a very very high 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 level soulmate this is a person that is perfectly designed for you that's why you all feel this way about each other so i was picking up like the uh, obsession of each other's faces and just touching each other all the time it's just like and wanting to be close all the time it's like you all are the perfect complement to each other and you've been feeling this before you've even been in physical union. So when you do come into physical union, it's just going to be amplified. I'm hearing like you know what it is. Yeah, the both of you know what it is between the two of you. So when this person comes in with their offer, it's not going to shock you what they say and what they do. Um, you're all for it. You're going to share that you feel the same exact way about them and i just get like i'm hearing wonderland and then you're gonna go into a wonderland with each other i oh i'm hearing um john mayer's your body is a wonderland yeah i feel like when you all are i feel like making love with each other feels very magical or it's gonna feel very magical when you do when you are intimate with each other it's like a it's just, you're very addictive you're very addicted to each other in every single way. That's what, that's all I can say. So when you you when this person approaches, it's like it's on, and you all can go into this. It almost feels like a magical wonderland. I feel like the life, the what you create together, and the way you create it with the energy that you all share, it feels like magic. So for you too, it's gonna feel like a wonderland. It may not be for everybody else, you know, anybody else may not understand it, but the two of you is going to feel like you're inside of a wonderland together. So when they make this offer, it's like it's off to wonderland with the two of you. Okay, so that's about all I have for you all for this uh, pick a card reading. I hope it was enjoyable and I hope it was helpful. Again, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go ahead and do so. There's a new upload every Sunday and Wednesday. If you would like to uh, check out your monthly zodiac readings, general forecast for the rest of the year, love forecast for the rest of the year, or your finance forecast for the rest of the year, you can do so at the Vimeo links below in the description box. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website can be found below as well follow me on instagram at serene dream things for uh, guidance and i'll be back with more readings lovelies bye